never driven one of these. As the temperature heats up and summer approaches, we focus on finishing the last few barn projects before we take on the larger infrastructure projects later this summer. In this episode, we get serious about safety, build a coffee bar, run more electrical and lighting, and continue the Oak Bar Project. When it was just us, our first aid kit was a roll of duct tape. Since we will be hosting guests, we need to get a professional kit. This unit can handle up to 100 people, which is plenty for our needs. And as luck would have it, five minutes after I installed this first aid kit, I cut myself. Good news is, it works great. In the few group events we have had so far, one of the first things we learned was our little coffee maker just isn't going to cut it anymore. We need a much bigger coffee machine, so we decided to use this newly formed space to build a coffee bar. I saw a couple of YouTube projects that used this material and decided to give it a try. Like a puzzle, each piece connects to the next and the whole thing can be secured with a staple gun. It also cuts easily and is very forgiving since you can fluff up the material and hide any errors. The installation was so easy, I got ahead of myself and forgot I actually had to build a bar. So after I took a portion down, I measured and went to get some wood. This was the wood we bought for the bar top, but we have since changed plans and have something more interesting we're gonna do there. So might as well use this wood for the coffee bar. In order to get the power we need to the coffee bar, a new circuit needs to be run in the recently walled in upstairs storage area. The plan is to run conduit across this ledge and then mount a panel here. This panel will also serve as the electrical connection to the cabins using the conduit we buried a few months ago. 
the easiest path is straight up through the metal shipping container and the floorboards above. A moment of silence for my favorite step drill bit. Oh, <laughs> the bit fell through. Adding LED strip lighting is an easy project that has a big wow factor. We also figured it would be a good way to highlight the front face of the bar. I simply drilled a hole for the wiring, mounted the little control box, used the tape measure as a guide, and cut the strip to fit. And finally, this project goes back well over a year from harvesting and mounting the rocks, to cutting, drying, and debarking the cookies, it was good to see this project take shape. Reg's vision was to have the rocks represent the water and the oak represent the trees at the ranch. He wanted something unique and special, and I have to say, before it's even finished, mission accomplished. Reg spent over 14 hours gluing and placing hundreds of oak pieces. As for the outcome, I'll let the video speak for itself. Next time at the ranch, we see who's better at mowing, Baxter and I, or these ladies. We used that new upstairs power to vacuum out 25 years of who knows what. We work on relocating a pending cabin site to make room for our septic equipment 
now that we have our approved plans. Our little buddy Baxter deals with a foxtail. And we finish the bar top. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.